Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am back with another clothing haul. We don't tell my fiance on this channel, we keep it to ourselves because if you follow along, you guys would know that I'm getting married next year. So I need to save money and I find myself buying more and more clothes. So we don't tell him. If you didn't know that, then that means you are new here. Hi, my name is Kiel Salenza. Welcome to the fam. Let's just jump into it because it's a lot. And I wanted to say this before we actually do jump into it, but I did get some pieces that were a little bit too big or I just didn't like them. So I have already sent them back. I was thinking of adding them to the video, but I just kind of wanted to get them back and get my money back. So I'm going to be talking about the things that I do have because it is a lot still. And I feel like if I add the things that I sent back towards the end of the video, this video is just going to be too long. So I just wanted to give a little PSA now. Let's jump into it. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna show you this outfit that I'm quite obsessed with. So it is these black cargo pants and this black tank top. You guys know I love black. It pretty much takes up majority of my closet, although I am starting to try and peek out a little bit. More so with my gym clothes, but like my normal everyday clothes, I'm kind of sticking to neutrals. So I do need to branch out a little bit, but this is absolute fire. Now on Shein, I don't know why, the <laughs> names of the items is very long, so I have my laptop here so I could read it out to you. First, we'll start with the bottoms. They're the zipper fly flap pocket tapered pants, and they were $25. I got them in a size small, so that's a Europe size 36 or a US size four. I'm not gonna lie, I was quite nervous about these pants because I've tried other cargo pants in the past and I just have such a hard time finding ones that fit my hips and my glutes as well as my waist. And Shein is really sometimes like back and forth on their sizing. So I went with the small and it is a tiny bit too big on my waist, but it's okay. Like I'm gonna deal with it. It's fine. It's not a big deal. We're fine. And honestly for $25, I am super stoked and happy about these pants. So they have two pockets on the sides. They have two pockets on the side of the thighs. The material on these pants is not too thin and not too thick, so I can definitely wear it in the summer if I wanted to. What I really like about them is the bottom is cuffed, so they're not gonna roll down, they're not gonna roll up, they're gonna stay in place. And then I paired it with this top. So this top is called the O-Ring Ruched Front Crop Top. I got it for $9 and I think I got it, yeah, I got it in a size medium, Europe size 38, US size six. So the way that you're supposed to wear the shirt is with this like O-ring in the front, but I wasn't really sure if I was gonna like that. One, because it shows a lot of cleavage as well. It shows a lot of midsection, like pretty much everything. It pretty much only covers your breasts and that's about it, like literally not an inch more of skin. And then the back is fully covered. So initially when I saw this top, I was like, it's really cute. I wonder if I could wear it in reverse where I have the O-ring on my back. So my back is open and then the full coverage is in the front. Now I'm not sure how often I'll actually wear it this way just because this was made to be on the backside. So the neckline actually cuts into my throat. Not that it looks like bad or it's like super uncomfortable, but it definitely is a little bit annoying. Honestly, I think the top is super cute. If you don't mind showing this much skin, like all the power to you. I feel like when I wear it with these pants, it's not as bad because the pants are high waisted but like going to a restaurant or something, I definitely wouldn't wear this. I feel like this is a top I gotta wear to like a club, a day, bar type of deal. The next item I wanna show you is this oversized t-shirt. I have been loving these. Oversized t-shirts are like a huge thing, especially on TikTok right now. Everybody is talking about them and buying them and using them for like pump covers. And my gym is reopening, so I got myself one. I also think like oversized t-shirts are really cute with like biker shorts to like go out maybe for like lunch or do errands in. It's a really like comfortable and casual outfit. And of course this has a long name too. They should have just literally named it Motorcycle Oversized Tee, but it's Motorcycle and Slogan Graphic Oversized Tee. It was $15 and I got it in a size large. Honestly, the large is perfect. If I did a medium, it wouldn't have been enough oversized for me. And if I went with an extra large, it would have been like more oversized, I feel like on my body and not as much on my torso. So I haven't washed this yet, but as you can see, it looks like it kind of looks like it's an old style t-shirt, but that's just the design. All of this design and logo is printed on. It doesn't feel cheap, but I'm just hoping 
praying that it's not actually gonna like come off my dad actually rides a harley davidson so i kind of grew up with like motorcycles like just being around them so i really like this t-shirt i think it's cool and yeah the next item i want to show you is this midi skirt i was quite nervous to purchase this at first just because i've never worn a midi skirt before so i didn't know how it was gonna look on me i'm not really like a skirt type of girl like that's just not me so I was nervous, but I wanted to give it a go. I'm trying to be more like open and vulnerable to like new outfits and style. And like my fiance and I go out a lot to like eat. So I was like, I kind of want like cute outfits. I need to test things out. So I purchased this. This is called the high split all over skirt. It was $14. Initially, I bought this in a size medium. When it came, I tried it on and it was way too big. So I sent it back, but I really did like how it looked on me. So I reordered it in a size small and the small is perfect the small equates to a europe size 36 and a us size 4 what i like about it is it does have a zipper so if you have bigger hips and bigger glutes then you just can use the zipper and you can get it over your hips and then tighten it up near your waist as well the skirt has a little slit so it makes it a little risque i have to try it for myself but i've seen on pinterest and like sometimes on instagram midi skirts can be really like they're very versatile you can dress them up so you can wear them with like a really nice shirt like I'll insert a picture of how I wore it to a bridal shower or you can also make it a little bit casual like you can wear the midi skirt and then you can wear like the graphic tee and I've seen like girls just tie the tee up in front and it makes it like more casual which is really cute you wear it with like Converse or Vans it's just super summery and like down to earth so the next item I got is this crisscross sports bra honestly it's kind of like a tank top because it's like really long like down your torso but it is a sports bra I've actually worn this to the gym that was my initial like reasoning of buying it because the back is open and crisscross you guys know I talk about this all the time I love open back I love showing my gains especially when I'm doing back workouts like it just it hits different so I wanted to get this obviously it comes in other colors but I thought black was the best because it kind of matches anything so if I wanted to wear it to the gym I could and if I didn't then I can match it with anything with my regular clothes as well I got this for eight dollars in a size small the material on it is 88 percent nylon and 12 percent spandex and it does come with padding it does have a hole so if you want to take it out you can the padding is quite thick so i really didn't think i was gonna like it but when i put it on i was like huh i kind of do like it so i think maybe because like i'm smaller chested that's why i liked it but yeah overall for eight dollars this was definitely a steal and it definitely doesn't give sports bra vibes like i said like it's pretty long on your torso so you can wear it as like a tank top you know put like a cardigan over or like a denim jacket whatever it may be and it would be really cute top next top I got is this white long sleeve and when I tell you I haven't taken this off I think literally since I got it which was like a month ago and I've just been loafing on recording this video but anyways I swear to god I think I've worn it like 50% of the days I love wearing it around the house love wearing it to work it's so friggin nice like I cannot say enough good things about this I'm probably gonna go buy other colors and it is called the half button drop crop that's not it it's called the half button drop shoulder crop tee I don't know why the names are so long but they are I got it for $13 in a size small so Europe size 36 US size 4 it's honestly a very lightweight like long sleeve it has the buttons in the front it's a crop and it's very basic there's no logoing no lettering or anything it is just this white ribbed material next item I want to show you I really freaking love also so these are a high-waisted like wide-legged pant this was another one of those items where I ordered it in the wrong size well not really the wrong size I went with the size that it said on the size chart I feel like their size shirt is a little bit messed up so I initially ordered a medium and it was really big so I returned it and I got it in a size small again Europe size 36 US size 4 I would say the waist is just a tiny bit big like I would like it a tiny bit tighter this type of pant is definitely the pant for a tall girl as you guys can see on the try on part I am 5'8 and this pretty much goes to the floor so it is a very tall girl friendly pant which we love there's been so many times that I have tried on full length pants and they are literally like capris on me which is it's terrible it's hard being tall sometimes it really freaking is these were $16 which I think is super fair 
fair like very fair price and it's like this beautiful burgundy color i think actually on the website it's maroon yeah, it's maroon, but burgundy. And I love these. I'm going to be living in them all summer long. They're very lightweight, so I think it's really good for the summertime because you like you can wear it out, especially like if you go out at night and you don't really want to wear shorts. These are what you need. The next item I have to show you is this black romper. It is called the Button Front Bat Wing Sleeve Romper Without Belt. Definitely a mouthful. I got it for $18 and it is in a size small. First of all, I'm not not gonna lie I thought the belt came with the romper but it doesn't in fact it comes beltless I should have probably read into that a little bit more so that was my first mistake I don't know how I feel about this I'm not sure if I like it or not I feel like I'm on the fence so maybe you guys can let me know in the comments it definitely looks the same as the website I just feel like on me it doesn't look as nice like you know when you're like shopping in the store or like you're window shopping you're like oh that looks so nice or things are on the rack and you're like ooh, it's so nice and then you try it on and you're like ooh, ooh, not for me so that's that's kind of how i'm feeling about this but i kept it because i'm like mm, maybe i'm overthinking it maybe i can wear it to work so that is that i will say a huge pro to it is on the back i'll try and show you guys it has this like ruching on the waistband part and it is only like that on the backhand side which is really nice because it just helps kind of like accentuate your waist so the material isn't just like kind of boxy on your body if you understand what i'm saying the other thing i would say it's not really a pro or con but with these buttons you can undo them so if you want to show a little bit more cleavage you can. We're almost getting to the end, I promise. So I got another romper that I want to show you guys. This one is called the Shein Notched Neck Lettuce Trim Romper. This was on their website for $13 and I got it in a size small. And the color is called mint green. The first pro is this color. Like the color is stunning. Like just look at it like that. I think green is honestly a really good color for people who have more like olive skin or like darker hair green always looks good on brunettes not that it doesn't look good on anybody else but i'm just saying maybe personally for me green green looks really good on me let's just say that i bought this with the intention to wear it to work and honestly that's probably the only place i'm gonna wear it i'm not really like keen on it i don't love it i don't hate it but i definitely do not love it i don't know if it's just made kind of short or i just have like a long torso but i feel like it's really like hiked up I don't know if you guys can tell on the try on part, but it does have a drawstring on the waist so you can make it tighter if you want. It just has like that lettuce look around the sleeves and then around the leg area. This is definitely like meh for me. Would I ever buy it again? Probably not. Will I wear it anywhere else other than work? Definitely not. But for $13, I think it's a good like outfit. I don't have anyone to like impress at work. If you guys follow along, you know that I'm self-employed. Pretty much every time I go to my office like all day long, I'm the only one there. So it's not like I need to dress up for anybody. Second last item I want to show you is this tank top and it has this like ruching on the side which i think is really cool this is the drawstring ruched crop cami top i got it for 11 dollars. i got it in a size small and it's like this beautiful really light beige tan color this top is really interesting to me because you can wear it different ways depending on the ruching so if you want a more full coverage or like a full top you can just undo the drawstrings tie it up again and it would be literally a full top or you can literally ruch it up as far as you want and make it as cropped as you want so it's super versatile the material on this top is 93% viscose or viscose I think it's viscose and 7% elastane so it has a little bit of stretch to it the only con I will say is I feel like the jawstrings are a tad bit long like I feel like it's a little bit dramatic I don't know might just be me but I feel like it's just really long i don't know but i love this top last but not least i got another ruched top but just in black the only literal difference is the material so this one is a flat black 
And then this one, as you can see, it has like these ribbed lines. The other difference between the other top is the material. So on this black one, it's 95% cotton and 5% elastine. I mean, so it is a little bit stretchy, but it's cotton. So I would just be careful when you're putting it in the dryer or you're washing it. You don't want to shrink it. I paid only $8 for it. I got it in a size small. It's the same idea. It has the ruching jaw strings on the side. And again, you can wear it like this where it's like more full coverage or you can do the jawstrings pretty high and make it a little bit more cropped. All right, so that is the end of today's Shein try on haul and review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to me down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. I can't remember if I mentioned this, but in the description box, I will put all the links to the items. So if you do want to shop it, it will be there. It will be super easy for you to find because I know Shein is a huge website and there is just so much clothes. It's so easy to get lost and not like find the proper things you want. So again, in the description box below, if you guys do have any further questions, send me a DM on Instagram or let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.